Hey Panthers! We're back with another packed episode of Panther Playback. It's starting to get cold outside. We had a couple of our very own take a camera out to Pelham Civic Center to show off their amazing ice skating skills. I definitely can't ice skate like that. Yeah, me either. That takes some true talent. Let's look at our Panthers with more. Please do a party, yeah, we do a party. Please do a party, yeah, we do a party. Oh, it's just calling this thing. We're good. This week, our Panther of the Week is Vanessa Cisnero. Here's Ava DeFonte with more. Hey guys, I'm Ava DeFonte and I'm here with your Panther of the Week, Vanessa Cisneros. <laughs> we know that you are involved with Palm United. Can you tell us a little bit about what the club is and what your role is? Yes, I'm president of Palm United and Palm United is basically a club where we're bringing cultural awareness and we try to make everyone feel included. So y'all just did a chunk or treat. Do you guys have any other upcoming events planned? Yes, we do. We have um, exciting events coming up. So we have a um, Pelham Potluck, which is basically where teachers and staff will be able to collaborate with their students and their parents will bring a dish that represents their country. We also have the Teddy Bear Project, which I'm really excited about. And it's basically like a fundraiser where we're trying to bring, you know, as much teddy bears as possible so we can donate them to the Children's Hospital. And we'll have prizes with that, so. Okay, so how does one get involved with Palm United? So if you want to get involved with Palm United, you can talk to Mr. Vasquez. And if you're involved with um, different clubs like Spanish Honor Society or FCCLA, then you can also get involved with Palm United because we also, you know, try to include other clubs. Help us out with that. Yeah. So now being a senior on the soccer team, what are you looking forward to most this season? Honestly, the practices. The practices are always fun. You know, we always push each other and uplift each other. I'm also looking forward for the bus rides and playing Helena because we don't like them. No, nobody likes Helena. <laughs> so what is your favorite memory while being at Palm High School? Honestly, making it to the third round of playoffs with the soccer team, it was, you know, a very bittersweet and exciting moment. Okay, guys, so that's all for this Panther of the Week. I'm Ava DeFonte, and this is Vanessa Cisneros. All right, guys, I'm here with the best shooters at Pelham High School, Lacey Gogan and Roy Gonzalez. How are y'all feeling about this season? I'm feeling really good, but if Avery was playing, it would be a lot better. Uh, I agree. Avery should play basketball. All right. Uh, yep. Go Panthers. <laughs> I'm here with the SGA president and our student section leader. How are you feeling about basketball season? Um, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. All my fans are going to be out there. All the basketball fans are going to be out there. And, you know, sign up to be a letter woman because letter women are better. We're ready. We're ready. What are you most looking forward to for basketball season? Getting hype in the student section. Watching me, watching me play. And watching Matthew. Yeah. What are you most looking forward to for basketball season? Being a letterman. What are you most looking forward to for basketball season? Being a letter woman. Shout out Matthew. Um, I'm not really looking forward to wearing a crusty jersey. But, yeah, she'll, she'll still look cute, guys. Yeah. Since basketball season's here, what are you most looking forward to? I have nothing to live for now that football's over. What are you most looking forward to for the 2021 basketball season? An undefeated record and for MJ to pass the ball. Who are you most looking forward to watch? Kamari. Shout out your favorite basketball player. Um, I'm going to have to go with MJ. That's my boyfriend. I love you. I love you, MJ. Blake, what are you looking forward to to see in basketball season this year? Uh, dunking on MJ. You're dunking on MJ? Any day. Any day? Any day. Are you calling him out? Oh, yeah. One-on-one? -on -one? One on one. You and MJ? Yep. He's going to do you in. <laughs> no, he's not. I promise he will. 21-0. 21-0. Tell MJ out there what you're going to do to him. 21-0. Dunk on your head. Hey, guys, it's Lauren. And I'm Sarah, and you should come see your thespian president and thespian vice president at this semester's Desserts and Drama on November 18th. Desserts start at 6. <laughs> Drama starts at 6.30. Tickets are $10 on GoFan. See you there. <laughs> Mr. Lippman is in there. What's five things that you would take with you on a zombie apocalypse? I think if there was one. 
I don't believe in zombies, but number one, I would take a lighter. I would take a solar powered charger for my cell phone. Um, I would take some seeds, some water, and probably, did I say a lighter yet? Yeah, you did. I think you've thought about this before. No. Hi, Ms. Schmidt, we have a question for you. Okay, so what was the worst thing you did as a kid? Y'all know I'm deeply uncool and didn't do anything bad as a child, right? <laughs> if bald men work in restaurants, do you think they should be able to, do you think they have to wear a hairnet? Like, do you think they should be required to wear a hairnet? Uh, I think that's an excellent question, and I obviously uh, think about it a lot. I spend a lot of time on that. Um, yes, because even I, as a bald man, have hair on my head. Would you consider No Shave November? Uh, not only have I considered it, I have a trophy for it. Okay, so are you, are you doing it? I am. Okay, so like, Lacey, how does it feel to like have access to me? Like to be able to wake up and be like, I can call Hannah and she will answer. It's the best thing in the world, honestly. Like, just go into depth with uh, that. Okay, so like, we need a list. Anytime I have an issue, it's just like, go to Hannah. Just any issue I have. Like, she's always there. She never doesn't answer the phone. She always answers the phone. If y'all need anything, call Hannah. Keep going. Uh, what is the strangest thing in your refrigerator? Ooh. I don't know if it's very strange. It's kind of regular for me right now, but probably breast milk right now. Who's your number one best friend on Snapchat? Your mom. So I'm reversing it to you. How does it feel to have Lacey in your life, to have access to Lacey, the Lacey Nicole Gogan? Well, honestly, um, she always kind of wants to be like me. Okay, and no, no, no. Mr. Foster, so if you put Windex on your head like a window and try to clean it, would it burn? First of all, why are you behind my desk without permission? Second of all, uh, I don't even know. Last week was unfortunately Pelham High School's wrap up on the 2021 football season. But basketball season is right around the corner. Let's take a look at the highlights from our final game against McGill Tulin. Here's Cooper Holly for more. Hey Panthers, welcome to this week's edition of PHS Sports. Last Friday, the football team took on McGill Tulin in the first round of the playoffs. The team played very well, but unfortunately fell 6 to 20, ending the 2021 football season. Highlights on that coming up. On November 2nd, our Panthers look to extend their four game winning streak rolling into the playoffs. Our Panthers are coming off a huge win on Homewood and are hoping that rolls over into this week's game. Our 7-3 Panthers take on the 6-4 McGill Tulin Yellow Jackets in the first round of the 6A playoffs. McGill Tulin starts things off and are looking to warm up their run game, but is quickly stopped by our defense for tackle for loss. Darius Copeland starts things off for the Panthers, running down the sideline and picks up the first down. Now we have William Lankford dropping back the pass and surveying what he has. He finds Jake Fox to convert another first down for the Panthers. Now a read option look for the Panthers as Lankford is dodging defenders on the field left and right, and he gets another first down for the Panthers. We now hand the ball to Gabe Gamble as he bulldozes through the Yellow Jacket defense and finds the end zone and puts the Panthers on the board, 6-0. Our defense back on the field and sends pressure and Braden Marlowe is there and sacks the QB for loss. Marlowe finished this game with 11 tackles. McGill Tulin now runs it up the middle for a touchdown. McGill Tulin dropped a pass deflected by Markell and is an incomplete pass, but McGill Tulin fends off the Panthers 20 to six in this week's game. On Tuesday night, our boys basketball team opened up their season against Hewitt Trussell here at home. Our Athlete of the Week is one of our standouts on the basketball team, MJ Jones. Here's Haley Borders with MJ. The 10 to the 5. 
Touchdown Panthers! What's up, PHS? Welcome to Athlete of the Week. I'm Haley, here with our star player, MJ. So, MJ, it's your senior year and first year on the Pelham basketball team. How are you feeling about your teammates and the atmosphere? Uh, atmosphere is nice. I love the school already. Everybody's so nice. I made a couple new friends like you. I mean, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, my team is, is great. I mean, we bond. We click so well on the court and off the court. So it's been good. So. You have anyone you look up to? Roy Gonzalez, no doubt. <laughs> so PHS wants to get to know number two a little bit more. Can you mm -hmm. go into your background and what you did at Montevallo? Uh, I'm not going to say too much, but I started all three years at Montevallo. Played with my eighth grade year. I would say I, will. I did all right, so not too bad. All right. We're glad to have you on the team. Appreciate so it. what's your plans after high school? Um, I'm going to go to college, play basketball, get a degree. <laughs> I don't know where yet, so we'll see. We'll see. All right. I know you have some offers. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So what pushed you to get those offers? Uh, I just work hard. My dad pushes me. So my dad played Division One basketball, Coach D. Uh, I have a lot of people around me who just played basketball at a high level and just pushed me to do the same. All right. I love it. The yeah. support. So uh, I think we need to go to the gym. <laughs> I'll shoot a three-pointer. All right. Shoot we'll, a three -pointer. See, we'll see. We'll see. All right. Let's do it. We're, we're in the gym. Yep, yep. R ready for our three-pointer. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to get it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> new, new D1 Ooh. right here. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Hey. Let's go. Time. All right. Time. All right. Mom. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> That's our athlete of the week. I'm Haley here with our Hooper. MJ, MJ Jones. All right, we'll see y'all next week. Well, Panthers, that's the end of another show. Don't forget to come out and support our boys and girls basketball teams next week as they face Tarrant away. Don't forget to check out our Instagram and YouTube at Pelham High School Productions and at PHS underscore productions. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Go, Go Ham. Ham. Yeah. Go for all my hands. Let's go together. <laughs> <laughs>